Planet Mars is visible in the sky with the naked eye as a bright orange star. Thus, the planet was known since antiquity. Due to its color, the planet was named after Mars, the god of war. The observations of the strange path of Mars among the stars made by the Danish astronomer Tycho Brahe led Kepler to discover the laws of planetary motion. With a telescope, some bright and dark marks can be observed on its surface. By the end of the 19th century, the astronomers Schiaparelli and Lowell made visual observations of many straight lines on its surface. These lines were named channels. They believed that there was once an advanced civilization living on Mars that had struggled to survive by transporting water from the planet's ice caps to the arid equatorial area through these channels. The first astronomer to dispute these beliefs was Eugene Antoniadi. By observing the 1909 apparition of the planet with the then enormous Medon Great Refractor, Antoniadi proved that the channels were an illusion and under perfect seeing conditions they were fractured geological formations. After the Second World War, telescopic observations provided much information about the atmosphere and the morphology of the surface of Mars. The real exploration of the planet begun in the 1970s with the use of unmanned spacecraft. Since then, numerous missions have revealed many details of Mars. We have also managed to land remote-controlled small vehicles equipped with special instruments to study the soil of the planet and search for elementary forms of life. Unfortunately, these searches show no evidence of life until now. It seems that the planet is dead, but the search continues. We now know that Mars orbits the Sun at the mean distance of 228 million kilometers. We also know 
that the planet rotates around its tilted axis in 24 hours and 37 minutes. Its diameter is 6,794 kilometers and its mass only one-tenth of Earth's. This small mass is the reason that the red planet cannot retain a significant atmosphere. Today, Mars is an arid and inhospitable place with a mean temperature of about minus 23 degrees centigrade. Yet, in the hemisphere that is illuminated by the sun, the temperatures can rise to 35 degrees centigrade. Its thin atmosphere has strong winds and dust storms and consists mostly of carbon dioxide and nitrogen with only traces of oxygen. At the poles, huge amounts of ice can be observed. The polar ice changes in appearance along with the seasons of the planet. Most of this ice is frozen carbon dioxide, but it seems that there is also some water ice. On its surface, many mountains, valleys, highlands, deserts, and empty riverbeds were observed. In the past, the planet had water in huge quantities. This water either escaped from the planet to space or was trapped in reservoirs inside the planet's crust. There are also numerous small and big craters and some huge inactive volcanoes. The biggest volcano on Mars is Mount Olympus and is 25 kilometers high. Its base covers 600 kilometers. This volcano is the biggest in the solar system. The large canyon Valles Marineris has a length of 4,000 kilometers and a depth of up to 7 kilometers. The length of Valles Marineris is equivalent to the length of Europe and extends across one-fifth the circumference of Mars. In 1877, two tiny, irregular-shaped satellites were discovered orbiting the planet. The largest satellite, named Phobos, is 27 by 22 by 18 kilometers, and the smaller, Deimos, only 15 by 12 by 10 kilometers. These objects were probably asteroids captured by Mars' gravitational field and thus became its satellites. In the near future, we could build scientific colonies on the planet in order to explore and reveal all the red planet's secrets. 
we have already designed instruments and vehicles to be used by astronauts in future explorations. It seems that the time is growing near when humans will step for the first time on the surface of another planet of our solar system.